One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's this really funny photo online of a map of Seattle that has cute nicknames for everything and where I live is called the Forest of Cranes. Obviously. Beacon Hill to go to a doctor's appointment and since I was over here I figured I'd come check out some spots. Right now I am in the Jose Rizal Park. I'm trying to look for this, this iconic shot that a lot of photographers come out and find through a fence to get the skyline. So let's try and find it. This has been very steep going down. I'm not looking forward to having to come back up it. <laughs> so I can see some fencing. And there's somebody walking over there. Going back uphill now. Ugh. I have a feeling that it's gonna be over here. I think by the dog park. I also wanted to say that you should probably not come to this park at night. Um, it's very big, it's right by the highways, and it's very dark, and a lot of homeless and transient people are around here. We're actually close to a couple of camp cities, uh, so this is probably not the best nighttime venue to go to. But, ooh, look at that view! I think we should grab a time lapse. So from this angle to get what I'm envisioning, I think we have to go back up the hill, up that hill. There's a gate with some stairs, so we'll probably head up. I know there's an entrance up here, so it might be there. We'll check it out after this time lapse is done. <laughs> Hello, Dodger. There's we go. If the hole's not up here, I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna Google it, but hopefully I'll be able to find it on my own. I see a path, maybe. Ooh, found it! Hell yeah! <laughs> Didn't have to cheat or nothing. Found it! Remember when I said this is where a lot of uh, people like to hang out? from the Jose Rizal Bridge. Here you can see the eastern crane forest. One, two, three, four, five. God, six.
So I'm crossing the bridge and heading towards the International District in Chinatown and I'm going to go pick up some produce at the Chinese market. So I wanted to go ahead and do a little haul of the stuff that I got from the two Chinese markets that I went to. Um, my favorite Chinese market, Hao Hao, was the first one that I went to. Um, they usually have the cheapest types of produce. For all the stuff that I got, I spent $7.02. Two bundles of cilantro, $0.39 cents each. Two stalks of green onions, $0.29 cents each. These for, what is it, $1.85. Got a bag of tomatoes for 99 cents, four jalapeno peppers, and these four cost me 23 cents. Two of these cost me $1.29. They seem pretty good. This is probably a very lewd. I'll put these away. I got two red onions. But all that food came to $7. I went to another one, Dong Hing Market, which is on Jackson as well. Um, so I picked up some deep fried tofu, which is so good and so easy. And then I got two fun things that I thought I would try on camera. The first one being these spicy peanuts. I am afraid. Let's try them out. Ooh, I got a whole, I got a big chunk of spice here. Let's see. Oh! Oh, it's already starting. It's not hot, I can just taste the flavor of the heat. Ooh, now I feel like fire in my nose. It doesn't burn though. I got scared because I thought I tasted it. I was like, it's gonna burn. Normally spicy food, it comes later. They're not spicy, they just taste of spice. Not my jam, but. Something that'll probably be more my jam is uh, some matcha flavored Pocky. I was gonna say that's exactly what I thought it would taste like, but it kind of tastes grassy at the end of it. Hmm. Hmm. I've had matcha Kit Kats before, and I think those were better. I think those had more sugar. I think these aren't really sweet. So I've spent the past couple hours looking up some cars, because I think tomorrow we're gonna go out and buy one. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I hope it works out. Um, so I were going to a car dealership tomorrow um, and I do plan on vlogging out there because we are going to a different city so maybe we'll run into something fun. Um, but I wanted to close out today's vlog. Um, we are getting some Chinese food from my favorite Chinese food restaurant. We're getting takeout. I'll show you some clips of that. That restaurant's called Bamboo Garden. It's my favorite vegetarian Chinese place. They have some of the best like faux meat products. Oh, it's so good. Um, but I want to say thank you so much for watching this vlog. Let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments. I'd love to talk to you there. And thank you so much for just watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye.